Now, for years, people have kind of had range anxiety when it came to their EVs. So what would happen if you lose charge and you're at the side of the road? Our sponsor of today's video, EcoFlow, has a full lineup of portable power stations that I use around the house for a lot of different applications, but just might be the update to the gas can we need if you have an EV. And these units are from the all new Delta 3 series, starting with the Classic and the Plus, up to the Max series and the Max Plus, and then ending in the Ultra and Ultra Plus. So let's go ahead and plug in our mobile charger. But first, in certain applications like this, sometimes you need what's called a ground to neutral bonded plug. So I'm just jumping the ground to the neutral and making my own plug. You can buy these as well, and I'll put a link in the description. But what that does is you plug it in the 120 outlet of your portable power station, and then you won't get an error code on your mobile charger, allowing you to charge from your power station. And you can see here we're pulling just over 1400 watts and that is one of the three critical parameters that you need to know when picking the right power station. With surge power being the second critical factor and battery capacity being that third. Now there's many other things to consider, the envelope or size, the weight, how many outlets, connectivity, solar power, a bunch of other things. And we've listed all that out in the spreadsheet so you can compare the EcoFlow units side by side. Do you need the smaller Classic or Plus series? Do you need to step it up to the Max or Max Plus? The Max Plus is a new unit and it is a beast for its size class. Or are you gonna go all the way up to the Ultra or Ultra Plus series, which replaced the Delta Pro, which is a super popular unit many people have used for home backup over the years. Now you're not gonna run all your different loads on this and our application here of using this as kind of a gas can to get us to a charging station, you'll see that there's some loads you're probably not gonna power with a portable power station, because they're not practical. So you need to make your plan and weighing out what is your power draw and energy needs for 24 hour period compared to the capabilities is critical to do that ahead of time. So you pick the right unit, but that spreadsheet will help you guys out. So let's go ahead and find our location here on the map, plug it into the navigation, and we'll start our drive off where we'll see we are consuming watt hours per mile. That is an efficiency metric for our EV. But if you compare back to the capability or battery capacity on these units, you go basically one kilowatt hour, two kilowatt hours, and then three kilowatt hours is the step up for the capacity. So let's see how many kilowatt hours we actually consume to make our complete drive. So finishing up our drive to get to the charger, it took 11 miles and four kilowatt hours of energy. So if one of these units was going to be our gas can to get us to the charger so we can charge at the supercharger, the base model here at one kilowatt hour for the Delta 3 Classic or Delta 3 Plus, not gonna do it. Two kilowatt hours with the Delta Max and the Delta Max Plus, not gonna do it. And then our Ultra and Ultra Max are three kilowatt hours. But that is why EcoFlow did the Plus series, where if you need expansion, if you need more energy capacity, you can leverage your investment with the original unit and then just add the expansion battery. So actually for this type of application, a Delta 3 Max Plus with the additional battery will have four kilowatt hours of capacity. Now, what about a more common application of sizing these out for your home backup power? How long is it actually gonna last you? That is where our worksheet comes in here. And you can download this worksheet at this QR code here on the screen if you're watching on your TV, or just look below the video, you'll see a link in the description. And then you can put in all your critical appliances adjust those, how long you're gonna run those per day, and then that will start sizing it out and you can drop down which units you wanna to compare to to see which one's gonna be best for your application and kind of compare those side by side on the last tab because it is a ton of information to take in. So it's nice to have those all side by side in one place so it makes the comparison that much easier. Now for me, if I was gonna go with one of the Delta 3 series, I would go with the Delta Max Plus. Why I'll do that, if you look at the Max on the left-hand side and the Max Plus on the right-hand side, flip them around, the solar input on the back with those orange XT60i conversion cables, you have two inputs going into the Max Plus. That makes a big difference. And here in this application, I actually have four 400 watt panels going into this unit, two 
in parallel on one input and two in parallel on the other, it's 5 p.m. in the afternoon and I'm still getting almost 700 watts of solar. So that's really gonna expand out my day in terms of how much energy I'm able to harvest from the sun. And then if I'm expanding out to additional battery packs, that really helps me replenish even on an overcast day. Hopefully I can fill that up and then have some resiliency of my system, especially if it's a critical backup system for my home. And then this thing is whisper quiet. Let's do a little test here with a high load of a heat gun coming into the Delta Max Plus unit. So it's about 1400 watts, which you can see is about 34 or 35 decibels, and you really can't hear any cooling fans of any sort. If you compare that to the Delta Pro, same load, about 1500 watts, you can see you're 10 decibels higher from the cooling fans. So the Delta 3 Max Plus has a new cooling system, which is able to reject the heat, but do that with barely any noise coming off the unit at all. And then the EcoFlow app continues to shine with the best in the industry. And now there's some new features. If you go with the Plus series, you can actually control one side, two outlets, with respect to the other side, the other two outlets. So you can have some priority setting and set a state of charge. If the battery level goes under a certain percentage, let's go ahead and only power my critical loads on one side as compared to all outlets being powered at the same time, which depending on your application can be a super handy feature. So let me know what questions you guys have. And remember, there's a link in the description for that spreadsheet if it'll help you out, size out the right unit for your backup power system for your home. And then if you're just getting into portable power stations and you wanna see a few other units, you can check out this video right here where I'll walk you through my home backup system with the Delta Pro 3. It's kind of the next level up where you have a generator inlet going right into your main electrical panel. And then if solar in general is really new to you and you just even don't understand the wiring, check out this video right here here and I'll go through series wiring, parallel wiring, and then combining both of those into series parallel. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on one of those next ones. Take care.